This is Alberta Hemsley from Withrow International High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today we're going to be looking at linear measurement using the ruler, centimeters, and significant figures. First I want you to notice that centimeters are upside down on most rulers in the United States. Second, I'd like you to notice that zero is in different places depending on the ruler. Second, I want you to notice that two centimeters is about the width of a finger. Five fingers, or your hand width, is about ten centimeters. Two fingers is about four centimeters. Three fingers is about six centimeters. Four fingers is about eight centimeters. So you have a centimeter ruler no matter where you go. Here we have a little one centimeter cubed. In order for it to measure the one centimeter on a side, we need to have it start exactly on zero. Here we have two one centimeter cubed, and the measurement along the side is now two centimeters, but again you have to start it exactly at zero. Using our hands, we are never without a centimeter ruler. Here, three fingers is six centimeters wide. Here is eight centimeters, and here is ten centimeters. Here I want you to notice where the zero is on the ruler. On this ruler, the zero is a little way in. On this particular ruler, the zero is exactly at the end. But on this next ruler, again, the zero is a little way in. Be careful. Each ruler has a different zero or starting point. A little recall here. Two fingers wide is about how many centimeters? And if we're going to measure an object, where do we have to put it? Now let's measure something. In this first one, we've got it at zero, and we look, and it looks like it's going to go to five and a half. But in the decimal system, we never use fractions. We have to use a decimal. Notice that this one goes about five lines over, and the fifth line is a little longer than the rest. So this one would be called 5.5 .5 centimeters. But for us in chemistry, we need to go just a little further. We need to go to that next decimal place. In chemistry, when we're using a ruler, we go one place beyond the last one we can see on any measuring device. So each of these little lines on the ruler are divided into ten more spaces. In your head, you need to imagine that each little millimeter place is divided into ten more places. Here you can see that the measurement is a little past the 2.5 and you might call it 2.55. Remember, this reading needs to have two decimal places. You could be lazy and call it 4.00, but if you look carefully, it's a little before the O, so you would call it 3.96 maybe. This one is a little beyond the 6.1, perhaps 6.13. This one is a little beyond the 9.3, but it's not 9.4, perhaps 9.37. Check out this one. It's not to the first millimeter line after 12 yet, and it's about halfway between the millimeter lines. Call this one 12.05. This is our last slide for today. Perhaps this one is 14.78. Remember, you always start measuring at zero. We always measure in centimeters. And on a centimeter ruler, we will always go to two decimal places unless you are told otherwise. So this last measurement is 14.78.
Enjoy!